Welcome to the program. Once again, we have to do that. That's the banter for you in case you missed out on any of the topical stories during the week. But it's now time for us to go into the papers. Well, it's time for us to look at the front pages. What are the papers saying this Saturday morning? And of course, uh, I'll be doing this with uh, Emmanuel and uh, Kemi. We'll be looking at the stories. We've got um, seven newspapers, Guardian, Punch, The Nation, Voice of Liberty, Saturday Independent, The Leadership, as well as The Saturday Tribune. Well, let's start from The Guardian. The, of course, a lot of stories popping for attention here. The major headline says, Aftermath of Mobat debt, record labels, not toxic enclaves torture camps uh, i think uh, that's um, uh, i mean a feature there uh, saying mm. record labels are not toxic enclaves and torture camps uh, other headlines from the front page of the guardian uh, at the top right hand corner we see the tuc president uh, closure of rtean offices tuc holds protest on monday threatening strike uh, there's also another one without national assembly confirmation cardoso Deputies assume duty at CBN. Uh, there was also at the very bottom of the front page, loyalists dump a motion as the former Auguste governor realigned with Abiodun, who is the current governor. Uh, that's uh, all the uh, top stories from The Guardian. Kemi, got papers there? Right, and um, well, Saturday punch is is next. But uh, before that, I, I don't know if let's quickly, know, let's quickly, uh, yeah, Emmanuel, be, without the two stories, are you... with, without national assembly confirmation, Caduzzo deputies mm. assume duty as CBN, um, at, at, at CBN. Definitely, this is very yes, interesting. Yes, it is the right. mother, yeah, it, very, <laughs> very interesting development at this time. Uh, well, one thing that uh, we we said last week here yeah, that um, the new. CBN governor needs to ensure that uh, there is narrow stability uh, in the country. Mm. And, uh, but uh, this, this story is coming out at this time, saying he needs to await the confirmation of uh, the Senate, that's the National Assembly, for him to assume uh, duty fully as the CBN governor. But if he's resuming now, there are issues on ground that he needs to solve. There are issues on ground. Nigerians are indeed talking about um, uh, the economic rejuvenation uh, at this time. So it needs to get to the ground and hit the ground running. Absolutely. We, we, can't, we can't wait anymore because we, we, we the way the Naira... The Naira... Suspended CBN governor, who is now the former, tendered his resignation. Yes, earlier in the week. Yeah, that earlier that in the week. That necessitated the need for Caduso to step to in. To also step in and ensure yeah. that um, things get better in the country at the moment. There's also the issue uh, that made the big, biggest story on the Guardian, Emmanuel Ajayi, and mm. that's the issue of um, still in the aftermath of Mubad's death, more people are speaking out about the relevance of record labels this time around. Are they or are they not toxic enclaves or torture chambers? I, I think when you look at the gains of record labels, what the visibility gives to boarding artists, but then you have to also consider the fact that many of these young artists also feel enslaved. Uh, you, you know, when you, when, when you sign an artist under a particular record label, there's this angle of loyalty that are attached to it that you need to do the right thing and ensure that you don't go... Mm -hmm. uh, you don't go gaga with your boss. Uh, what has uh, happened with uh, Iliru Lua Aloba is something that Nigerians indeed are also waiting to see the outcome of everything concerning this. So record labels are not toxic enclaves uh, at the moment. They are, they, they, are, they are where you come out to showcase artists. So whatever has happened uh, in this Aloba's uh, case is something that is very worrisome at this time. A young 27-year-old artist in the country just caught short at his prime. Mm -hmm. So th this is what we're right, saying. Let, let, let's go to the punch, Kemi. Right. Mm. The punch, front page of the punch, that is uh, Saturday punch, has a splash of interesting stories. I begin with the top, right under the, uh, right on top there, pal palliatives palaver. 
bloody fight, it says, as Nigerians jostle through punches, sharing rice and beans. <laughs> and there's this report uh, from NEC members of the main opposition party, the PDP, saying that uh, the FCT minister, former governor, Yesom Wike, notified the party before accepting ministerial offer from the ruling party. Of course, the biggest story there is uh, still on the controversy regarding the Chicago academic records of President Tinubu with um, his main rival, Atiku Abubakar, set to resume legal battle. Both individuals set to resume legal battles in the U.S. on Monday. Atiku Camp says, I quote, President, you don't have anything to hide. We will get him. But of course, the senior lawyer is saying that the, PD, the APC and the president are ready for Atiku's plan B. Down there, I almost dropped out of school, became a DJ, BIU first class graduate. And there's a, an interesting story about tribal marks and ancient culture lost to lost civilization. To civilization. Right. Um, course, big, big one here. There's Let's, another story okay. there from, uh, I almost dropped out of school to become a DJ. A, <laughs> uh, a first class a first class graduate from uh, the Benson Idaosa University there. But yeah. Emmanuel, let, which let, of the let, Let's look at this Chicago you? academic record of uh, the mm. president. It's just like saying, uh, um, you know, uh, the Chicago came out, um, a university came out to say that um, uh, the president attended uh, the school. So it's just like saying uh, the moment that Someone told you that um, where's, where, where's your address? And you said, this is my address. And you're saying, I want to know where you... Bring, where bring, you, bring you, me the Nepal bill. The ne the, no, no, no. <laughs> bring the Nepal bill. Or you're saying, I want to know or the, the bedroom. Field, the, the bedroom you're sleeping. The and that's a, the president has come out to say that, you, the, that the court should... That the, the, the university should not release his academic records. Mm -hmm. So... We are, we, it's, it's a legal battle we are yet to see what will transpire there on Monday, on Monday. Uh, to see what will come out from that uh, plan B of Atiku. But uh, with all of this, uh, the, the, this, is a, this is a man that we need to give kudos to. That's the president of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. you, you saw the young man that came to TVC saying that um, he truly attended the, the Chicago University, that he's a colleague of the president. So mm -hmm. many issues surrounding <laughs> this one. And look at this issue of tribal marks, ancient culture, lost to mm. civilization. I wonder, seeing Emmanuel at the moment, or Kemi, wearing this, uh, <laughs> the, the, the tribal marks at this time. But you know, it's, it's, a it's, it's something we, we, we used to in, in the Peculiar olden days then, that when you give birth to a child, you give the tribal mark, and it shows that we have the one from, the, the people from your state, from um, uh, Oshu and the likes. When you see those tribal marks, I wonder having such now, how will I look? <laughs> Well, uh, some people still see, I mean, see it as um, a necessity or, I mean, people go for tattoos now. And, um, well, can, you, can, you, can you give birth to a child now and you want to have tribal well, that's, that's a decision I'll have to take with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next paper, which the is Nation. The Nation. Mm. And The Nation has a lot of stories screaming for attention. Uh, let's start with the main headline, indefinite strike, man, Mecca, orders kick as NLC decides on Tuesday. Uh, the TUC threatens protest Monday in Lagos over RTEAN crisis. Well, just beside that headline is this very interesting one. You are Nigeria's problem. A strange wife slams or busts on Joe. Uh, Mrs. Taiwo Martins, uh, who, of course, uh, claimed to be Ms., uh, pres former President Obama's wife, wife and offered an apology uh, on his behalf, uh, following his um, episode with traditional rulers, Lazio. Yeah. and uh, of course the former president disowned her, and now she's firing our own South back at the president. They are Nigeria's problem. You may want to pick up uh, the paper and look at that story. Uh, of course, uh, the, at the top right-hand corner, we have a presidency, and the federal government increases salaries of varsity police staff by 25 percent. That's some cheering news there. Uh, Chicago varsity records articles request frivolous says Tinobu. And uh, right at the bottom, this is a very interesting story. I hope Emmanuel will want to talk about this. <laughs> Tricyclist will return 15 million naira offered for wives. wives as reward. That's not all. That you receive multiple, multiple cash, cash gifts. gifts. Okay. Uh, I'll be, I, I, 15 million naira for four wives. wives. In, in Kano. In Kano oh, how, 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 does it, how does it even match up? Your return money. Uh, well, I, I don't know how the young are we, man... Are we, are we not looking at it from women being objectified Absolutely. or something? Absolutely. Uh, definitely. When you look at um, that uh, incident happened in Kano, and um, returning 15 million naira, and you're giving 
four wives. I don't know how that will match up. The leader of the matchmakers mm. group said two of his daughters, daughters. are among this four wives that were presented to uh, the motorcyclists who returned. Oh, I mean, let, let's look at the, uh, the, the, the balance of really it. Is it, is it these mm. women fell in love with him because of the virtue? Or these women are being tossed around to this man as a, as a as, piece of compensation? I think it's as a way of reward. It's a, it's a, a, I think it's, the information yeah. we have as a way of, of reward. The man has been receiving all sorts of rewards. Mm. But of course, this is now the catch. Four wives in return. Like if you can return money, you, can, you have four wives. <laughs> okay, I didn't think of it that way. If you can, well, one other interesting story there says FG increases salaries of varsity poly staff by 25%. It's a welcome development at this time. We're talking about the fuel subsidy remover, and um, you're increasing the salaries of um, uh, varsity workers, the uh, polytechnic so I, I staff. Think steadily, the federal government is, is showing, is showing concern and concern about um, to meet the, the plight Nigerians. of Nigerians at this Absolutely. time when we're talking about the uh, the removal of fuel subsidy. Good one there. Right, and on Voice of Liberty, as we see next, uh, the biggest story is on the Nigeria Labour Congress threatening to embark on indefinite strikes as the federal government has failed to meet our demands. Of course, that was reflected in the previous papers, but it's, it's having more, more prominence here. Mm. And um, just above that is uh, this report from uh, Zamfara State regarding the latest banditry attack, and it adds that the military rescues six abducted federal varsity Guso students. Uh, Niger Delta is there down below the lead uh, uh, story. NNPC discovers 54 illegal pipeline connections and 78 unlicensed refineries. And of course, uh, another one renewed hope agenda no urbanization of appointments under Tinubu. This is according to leaders of a group called the Natives. Ibrahim, this issue of a pending Ibrahim? strike. Where's Ibrahim? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ibrahim, my, my colleague during the week. <laughs> <laughs> my colleague during the week. Emmanuel Ajayi, yeah, right. say, pardon me. Yeah. So this issue of a, a pending strike now, mm. uh, NLC has been on this matter. Now they are saying the federal government has failed to meet our demands. After 21 day mm -hmm. ultimatum given by the neck of uh, the NLC right. and the, the, that's the Labour Union, right. it's ended yesterday. And they're saying, we are going on a nationwide strike because the federal government has, uh, didn't meet their, their demands. So with all of this development, we've seen some of the strike they had, uh, two-day strike and some other issues. Well, we, 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 we wait to see how this will fall out. Are Nigerians ready for another nationwide strike at this time? Despite the fact that the federal government has been putting, on, uh, putting in palliative uh, to states, even though some of the states are saying we have not received all the uh, the, the, the money um, released by the federal, in others, in other by the federal parts, government. In other parts, it's also causing serious, serious chaos. Some are having issues. Disputes the, the, the uh, distributing over the manner of the All right, we, we need to speed up uh, the, the uh, view of, uh, of the papers. Uh, let's quickly run through the other papers. Saturday Independent is the next uh, before me. And uh, this is 10 years after privatization. Darkness persists amid huge electricity bills. Uh, we saw stories about the national grid collapsing, collapsing. multiple times during the week. And um, a friend of Ferris sets agenda for Tinumbu on insecurity, economic rejuvenation. And to me, Frank, to Tinumbu, your desperation to hide Chicago Vasty Records, embarrassing. But that's a very, very uh, subjective opinion there. Uh, TUC threatens protest in Lagos on Monday. Uh, Mobad still in the story. Fresh blood doesn't mean artist mm. was buried alive. And that's according to medical experts. And of course, uh, Bibi Naija, I talked a lot because I wanted to be heard. Mm -hmm. That is the uh, evicted house. Doing there, doing, doing speaking there. That one. Mm. 60 year old man arrested for parading. Uh, yeah, himself. 60 year old man arrested. For seven parading I himself as AIG. Seven AIG. Uh, well, his name is um, Adeyemi Isaac Adebola, uh, who is some, uh, someone has been parading himself as AIG, <laughs> Active Inspector General of Police. Uh, there how, in or your in or your state, I, but but it's, let's give kudos to or your resident at this time, call, calling him out, saying this man has been extorting uh, uh, Nigerians because of the extortion. That's why they were able to call him out. And after a thorough investigation, uh, they got to know that he's even not a real police officer. Fake. That's impersonation. 
And you know, in law, you don't just come out to impersonate. It's a grievous offense. Uh, absolutely. And recall recently, too, a fake CP mm. walked into the police command here in Lagos. And uh, I, I was wondering at, you know, how daring he could be. You know that you are not who you say you are. And, and you enter right, right to the there. police headquarters in Lagos. And this calls for concern. Can be, call, this this calls for concern about uh, data gathering. You need to have uh, the bow data of everyone who is in one authority or the other, so that when they are accusing you, uh, you should be able to say, okay, this is my number. This is when and where I've served. You don't just okay. come out and say, well, I'm an AIG, and you just go out there. This man has been extorting Nigerians for a very long time, and they are calling uh, right, for his arrest. Just, uh, let's go through the Tribune uh, and, of course, wrap up the newspaper segment. That, that's the last paper, mm. Saturday Tribune. Uh, the big story there, bandits invade varsity hostels, abduct 24 students, protocol officer, mm. nine construction workers also kidnapped. Mobad, uh, that's the late 27-year-old artist, police insist we use tear gas and not live bullets. Mm. Amotekun discovers ritualist based in Oremeji Bado arrest three. Mm. And alas, Miss Stool, uh, Oyo Messi is like a cult, but some kings, some members divulged our secrets to Governor mm. Maki Day. Uh, mm. Over there, uh, over to you, Imam. The big, big one here, bandit invade varsity. Yes, that is also worrying. Abduct 24 students. Six has been um, released of uh, at this time. But well, kudos to uh, the Nigerian police force ensuring that... Um, yeah, uh, speedy response. Speedy response to this development in Zanfara State. Um, All right.